communication I am discussing again in recall communication that is common 2019. Teach a medical student about evidence-based medicines or evidence-based medicine teach a medical student who wants to know whether to treat bronchiolitis. Uh, that is evidence-based medicine. Okay. So first, as usual, medical student introducing myself, making the report, taking the consent, clarify my rule, agenda, attendance, and prior knowledge. So what is, first I will ask, evidence medicine, evidence-based medicine, or what you know. Definition of evidence-based medicine is that practically medicine based on evidence to improve the quality of care. We are providing to patient, it is integration three cycles. So <clears throat> medi uh, practically medicine is based on the evidence. There are three circles. We draw a picture that is best research evidence, then clinical expertise and patient values. These are best research evidence, clinical expertise, and patient values. Now, for example, if you have a patient with Jehovah Witness and the available evidence said that the patient needs blood and clinical judgment says the same, is this considered to be evidence-based medicine? No, as it does not go with the patient values. <coughs> so these are this example another example that i want to give a prophylaxis to patient with recurrent upper uh, urinary tract infections best available evidence recommended nitrofurantoin but the patient has g6pd clinical judgment says that he needs nitrofurantoin is this considered evidence-based medicines no as it does not go with the patient value so we are thinking that there are three cycles integration evidence-based medicine that is best research evidence clinical expertise and patient values so when one go against them, that is not. Uh, two example we have taken. One is for the Jehovah blood witness. Uh, can we give uh, this uh, blood? Patient need blood transfusion. Here clinical judgment also says. But um, uh, on patient values, it is go against. So it is not evidence-based medicine. So another is that a prophylaxis of nitrofurantin UTI. We are giving nitrofurantin is the best prophylaxis for UTI, but the patient has GCXPD. So our clinical judgment says that he needs nitrofurantin. Is this considered because here patient value again that is now steps of evidence-based medicine five steps of evidence-based medicine step one step two step three and step four step one ask a clinical question step two acquire the best evidence step three appraise the evidence step four apply the evidence and assess the performance that is five so there are five steps again i am telling step one is ask ask a clinical question ask then a well, I will acquire the knowledge. What is the best evidence? Then appraise the evidence. Then apply and assist. So ask, acquire, appraise, apply, and assist. There are five steps of evidence-based medicine. Ask a clinical questions with PICO. P-I-C-O. What is PICO? PICO is the principal assist you in organizations and focusing your questions into a, a searchable query. So PICO is the searchable way query organizing. Like examples, um, PICO, P for uh, like uh, who are the relevant patients, populations, participants or population, P for who are the relevant patients, number one. Number two, interventions and indications, I. So what is the management strategy, diagnostic, last or exposure that you are uh, researching? Then C for comparator control, uh, that is, is there a control or an alternative management strategy, test, or exposure, then outcome. COO for outcome. What are the patient relevant consequences? So suppose, for example, evidence-based medicine to use of nebulized saline in bronchiolitis. That is our exam questions. Bronchiolitis, then PICO, P for patient problem. Patient problem is here bronchiolitis. Intervention, we are giving nebulized saline. C for compare, who takes the nebulized saline and with whom not taking. So we are comparing who take, we are not taking. Outcome nebulized saline is good or bad for patients with bronchiolitis. So this is the example. Then acquire the evidence that we got it from evidence-based medicine pyramid. Appraise the evidence suitable or not. Apply the evidence, then assess the performance. So there is a pyramid of evidence-based medicine. We know that. So first of all, animal and laboratory studies, then case report, case series, narrative reports, expert opinions, editorials. That is second step. First step is case control study. That is a retrospective subject already if interest looking for risk factor. And step four cohort study. That is prospective exposed cohort is observed for outcome. Then step five randomized study. That's control trial, a prospective test treatment. Then step six meta-analysis, systemic review. Step seven clinical practice guidelines. So uh, there is evidence-based pyramid. We learn 
uh, there are one, two, three, four, <clears throat> seven steps. First, uh, we study on animal or laboratory, then case control or case series, then case control study, then case report study first. Second step is case report or case series. Third is case control. Then a cohort study, then randomized control, then meta-analysis, then clinical practice guideline. Among them, um, in uh, any many laboratory study and case report or case series, there is no design, no human is involved. The second is cohort study and case control studies, that is observational studies. It is a primary study and uh, randomized control, these three are. Meta-analysis and guideline is the secondary, pre appraised or filtered. Okay. Now, explanation they have given case control. What is case control? That is a retrospective looking for risk factor, for example, smoking and lung cancer. I'll bring a group of lung cancer patients and I'll take history from them to see who was smoker and who was not. That is case control study. Court study is a prospective exposed cohort is observed for outcome. It is theoretically speaking and it is non ethical statistic. Randomized control study. What is that? Randomized control trial is it is a test of medications and I have two groups of patients. One give them uh, placebo and one give them the treatment and I will document the response on both groups. Systemic review, what is it is a collection of studies done on certain topic. For example, all studies done on relation uh, between the smoking and lung cancer controlled together and persons in on online database called coherence library. Meta-analysis, it is a statistical study conducted on collective studies. So what is the best evidence? Best evidence depends on study and effectiveness of the treatment. Guess what me and if I have treatment with meta-analysis study in comparison with randomized control trial study, what is the best evidence? Meta-analysis. So which one is meta-analysis? Uh, which one is best evidence? That is meta-analysis, remember. Excellent. Benefits of evidence-based medicine. So medical students can ask that. What are the benefits of evidence-based medicine? Easy way to get the information fast, updated, measurable, and cooperation between the different doctors from different countries, improving their quality of service received to the patients. So the benefit of evidence-based medicine is that we can easily get the information fast, updated, and measurable cooperation between the different doctors on different zones, different countries. The national or international guidelines, any restriction evidence-based medicine, nothing is the best, but maybe national guidelines take into consideration our patient values, environmental conditions, and economic issues. That is why maybe suitable. Uh, so national guidelines or international guidelines will, um, no one is best, but we'll do follow the national guidelines. It, it is consideration to our patient, our environmental conditions, our economic issues. These are so national guidelines will follow. Why not all people following the guidelines? They may do not realize its importance and the medical legal aspects of not following it. So why not people are following the guideline? Because they are, um, they don't realize the importance of the guideline and they don't know the medical legal aspects. Um, is expert opinion is our of respect, out of respect, expert opinion. Every personal experience must go through different steps before considered to be evidence-based medicine. So every um, personal experience must go through different steps. Okay, if I need a rapid answer in a busy day, what can I do? May I need to check the NICE guidance or up to date? Both of them depend on the best evidence. Why it cookie book? What is cookie book? I do not know. What is coherence library online database collection of systemic review? So coherence library is an online database collections of systemic review. So this is evidence based medicine that is very easy to see. Uh, category will in the circle that is uh, patient research evidence, clinical expertise, and patient values. So these three need for evidence-based medicine. Number one, it has five steps. That is ask first. Ask that is uh, step one. Uh, ask a clinical question. Step two is acquire. What we acquire the best evidence. That step three is appraise. Then um, apply and assist. So ask, acquire, appraise, apply, and then assist. And PICO, that is clinical question. How can we ask a clinical question that is easy to remember PICO? For an example, like bronchiolitis. Uh, PICO, P for patient problem. Here, patient problem, bronchiolitis. Intervention like evidence-based medicine used in nebulized cell line in bronchiolitis. That is common exam. So patient problem is bronchiolitis. Here, intervention is nebulized cell line. IE for interventions. C for compare. We will compare between who take the nebulized cell line and who home not taking the nebulized cell line. An outcome that is uh, nebulized cell and is good or bad for the patient with bronchiolitis. These are uh, then acquire the evidence we got from the evidence based medicine, uh, premiumid, appraise the evidence, apply the evidence, and assist the performance. These are the five steps. And evidence based pyramid, I also diagnosis seven steps uh, from pyramid. 
any uh, first two step there is no any human involved no design that is any many laboratory studies and case report or case series okay then primary and secondary primary three they are um, that is observational study primary studies that is case control study cohort study and randomized control trial the secondary pre appraised or filtered that is meta analysis and clinical practice guideline so this is the step uh, the pyramid uh, why evidence based medicine in base we know that that is it is depends on the study effective treatment meta analysis is the best evidence based medicine remember meta analysis what are the benefit we get because we can um, uh, information we get fast uploaded updated and measurable and cooperation between the different doctors from different countries and improving the quality of service received to the patients uh, what we follow national international guideline uh, both are not good but national guideline we follow because it is uh, based on our country uh, environment um, our economic status uh, our um, environment on everything uh, why not people following the guideline because uh, they have don't know the uh, importance of the guideline also ethics legal ethics and uh, that is the uh, what is coherence library that is online database collection of systemic review so online collection is coherence library database collection is coherence library so this is all about evidence based medicine communications thank you very much